So the other day I was at work and it was dead. So me and my homie were scrolling TikTok, you know, as one does. And as we were scrolling, we came across probably the most cringe video I have ever seen in my entire life. Why are you crying, Lane? Because you deleted your- That shit's so bad that I was like low-key questioning my friend. Like, how the fuck did that come up on your For You page? That's so oddly specific. Surely you've been doing something weird, you know? Like, that, that doesn't just show up, right? It's not like you're watching Minecraft videos, then you get this, okay? But whatever, I let it slide because it was, like, low-key a really good video idea, so whatever. He gets a free pass on this one, but next time, I'm not letting that shit slide. Real quick before I start this, let me make it completely clear that I'm not making fun of age regression. Age regression is basically, like, a involuntary coping mechanism. Okay, a good example of this is like, you know, those videos where like a woman will record her boyfriend while he's like being super vulnerable and he's talking in like a baby voice. You know, you know the videos. Got him lacking. That's age regression. Okay, not this. Look at the difference. Normal, totally fine, not a not normal, totally not fine, very much a okay, there's a massive difference. Yeah, I'm scrolling through TikTok right now, and I'm seeing a bit of a trend with almost every one of the videos that are, like, trying to explain what they're doing. <laughs> they make it, like, they, they make the point that it's not a and that it's not probably about four times every video. Like, what? Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm dressing up as a baby and getting my diaper changed, but I swear, it's just fun, okay? It's not nothing about this is sad, I promise. Like, okay, bro. Yeah, sure. Come on, man. That's Cap. You should probably pop up on the changing table. It isn't necessarily overtly sad, but it's a bonding experience. You're showing parts of you that are private, and there is a lot of sensory things going on during a diaper change. So it's an incredibly magical thing done between a caregiver and a little, and it's it's very bonding. The fuck is a caregiver and a little? What? Caregiver and little? Hold on, I'm looking this shit up, because this has to be a c bro. There, he is in a fucking diaper and a onesie. Good God, yeah, there, there's a lot of shit here. Like, half of it is 100% sad. Like it's, it's talking about <laughs> yeah, being dominant and it's just, it's, it's fucking foul. Okay. It's, it's disgusting. And then the other half of it is like basically saying that you have to fully commit to the role, full baby role play. <laughs> Both definitions of this shit is just weird. I, I definitely can't show like half of the stuff here. My main concern about this is the half that's doing this type of stuff. How was that not? Yeah. Like, like that's, I mean, that's a child. I mean, in your eyes, right? Because you're acting like a baby, right? You're fully serious about the role. So if you're then s***ly attracted to that character, that's, that, that's some p oh, shit. Oh, that's, that's fucking disgusting. Oh my goodness. That's a full diaper. You waited too long. What's wrong with you? All right, let's take these cute little jammies off of you. Up. Oh. Good job. I swear on my life, if I ever walk in on my parents doing this shit, I'm jumping into the fucking Mississippi River. What in the absolute hell did I just watch? This is, yeah, 100% a Without a single doubt in my mind. Like, they can say it's not sexual as many times as they want. This is definitely sexual. 100%. And wow, that is just some wild riz. Swear to God, I'm with a woman and she says, let's take these cute little jammies off. I I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> that nah, that is a that is a wild line. That's F tier Riz. Okay. <laughs> F F tier Riz. Nah, but on some real shit, what am I watching? <laughs> I I know I know this woman did not just tell a grown ass man he has a full diaper. On my life, there is no amount of money that could make me do this shit, bro. This is this is a whole ass man. Imagine changing a baby's diaper, but instead of getting like, you know, baby size shit. There's a whole fucking log <laughs> the size of your forearm. Like, the fuck? How do you dispose of that? He's like, yeah, yeah, I got Burger King this morning. Got quite a bit of a yield. Like, the, you, don't, you don't have to do this to yourself. Genuinely. You don't have to do that. Just be a normal fucking person. You're, you're going through all of this just for a c At least she's dedicated to the role, but that's insane. That's fucking crazy. Wetting my diapers is just something that kind of comes naturally with wearing diapers. 
the feeling of release and the feeling of comfort of a, of a warm, wet diaper is, is really something that is very special to me. Being an adult baby makes me feel different ways. Sometimes it makes me feel really happy. Sometimes it makes me feel kind of sad. Riley hasn't been able to find a long-term relationship. No shit. Really? I mean, I couldn't imagine why. I mean, I have, I have no idea why. I don't, maybe she can't find a relationship because uh, 10 fucking seconds ago she was talking about how pissing herself is special to her. I don't know, man. I think that's, I mean, that at least has something to do with it. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just nitpicking, you know? Maybe she's just unlucky. I know that ultimately most people aren't okay with this. Is she too entrenched in the baby lifestyle? Will her addiction stop her from living a full life? These questions might be some of the most retarded shit I've heard in my life. Like, will Riley wearing a diaper and pissing herself make her life harder? Yeah. No, it will. Yeah, that um, yeah, it comes with the territory, I think. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna make the decision to purposefully piss yourself, your life is probably gonna be a little harder. And it's kind of fucking stupid for you to think it won't be. <laughs> it's one or the other, man. You can't have both a good life and act like a baby. That's just not how it works. Sometimes I wish that I wouldn't have gone down this path, but usually it takes just a half a second to go, oh, come on, Riley, you love this. I do wet my diapers, but I don't do anything else in them. I never have to use public restrooms, which is, you know, something that is very lovely because public restrooms are horrible. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I totally get it now. This is... I mean, it's, it's actually all making sense now. I would totally rather just piss all over myself than have to go into one more public restroom and hear some overweight, middle-aged dude squeezing out of shit so hard that he's moaning. That That's a real thing, okay? Any women listening to this, it's a real thing. Dudes do that, and I have no fucking clue why it happens every single time I go into a public restroom. I know this is off topic, but bro, I, I genuinely don't think I've ever stepped foot into a single public restroom and not heard some fucker fighting for his life in the stalls. I actually think it's a curse. Every single time I go into the bathroom, without fail, there is just some dude moaning. And let me let me just say, I've taken plenty of shit in my days. Some would call me an avid shit taker. And I, I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel that good, bro. There's no reason for you to be in there moaning. You're just making a damn scene. And I'm honestly starting to think that they do it on purpose. It, like, they enjoy the idea of dropping a log in public. They look forward to that shit every day and it disgusts me. I'll move on, but for real, fuck bathroom moaners. I actually hate you. If you're the type of dude to shit in a public restroom, I despise you. Genuinely. Peter Pan, I never want to grow up. Can I put it on the fridge? Hooray! I'm a little and he's my daddy. The end. Peppa and Emily Elephant like to share their toys with each other. My name is Max and I'm 20, but not really because I'm five. Uh, my name is Johnny and I'm 31. Yeah, that's just p with extra steps. I, like it, it is 100%. Bro, <laughs> swear to God, these motherfuckers will do anything other than just stop s***ing children. Like that, like they won't do that, but they'll go through all the work of finding an adult that will act like a child. It's like, dude, <laughs> grow the fuck up. That is so weird. That's just disgusting. L like literally, they just said that they were in a relationship. And then in the same sentence, she called herself five years old. And the dude confidently said he was 31. How in the fuck is this allowed? Like, actually, how? Why is this guy not behind bars? That's a pedophile. Like, <laughs> genuinely. If if he didn't have this person who would act like a kid, I guarantee he would just go to actual kids. Like, that's... I, I, I don't get it. And, you know, the actual crazy part is that it turns out this is a much larger thing than I expected. Like, this happens a lot. A lot of people are like this. Whenever I was researching shit for this video... I found a whole ass store that sells adult sized baby clothes. I'm not kidding. People are really monetizing this borderline pet. That is insane. Like, this is a whole ass catalog of grown fucking men wearing baby clothes. And half, and half the shit sold out. This, some guy is making bank and all he's doing is upsizing baby clothes. Like, dude, look at this. Cloth diaper, $50. 50 and they are all sold out. All of them.
bro, I'm in the I'm in the wrong field, bro. <laughs> I gotta get on this, man. I gotta start making fucking adult baby clothes. I'd be banking adult onesie hoodie. This is fucking foul. This is probably the worst piece of clothing I've ever seen in my life. This image right here, this this will haunt my dreams. I I will probably never recover from this, like genuinely. All right, so I did the math. And if you wanted a whole ass adult baby fit, including a onesie, a cloth diaper with the inserts, because you know, you, you got to piss yourself, okay? It's not authentic if you don't. Got to include those, right? Um, a pair of adult booties, a bonnet, adult baby gloves, and an adult pacifier, your total would be $215.93. And that's not even including tax. That is a whole ass three pairs of Lightning McQueen Crocs. Just that, That's a whole week of groceries. That is one whole Lego Chewbacca, and you're spending it on glorified p That's fucking insane. Anyways, I'm done. I, I uh, can't take more of this shit. Honestly, one more video of a grown-ass adult throwing a tantrum is enough for me to wander off into the forest and go live with the cannibals. So, uh, sub to the channel. Also, join the Discord. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will buy the uh, dinosaur tail adult cloth diaper. Not kidding. I will do it. <laughs> Thank you.